Hello, in this video, I'll introduce the HDR imaging process and thumb mapping. This is the overview. General JPG images captured by camera have two properties. They are nonlinear to the actual radiance, and they have low dynamic range, so that it cannot capture the entire range of radiance in the real world. As a result, in the LDR image, some parts are too dark and some parts are too bright to observe the objects in the scene. So the goal of this project is to merge LDR images into a single image so that human can identify the entire scene. First, linearize LDR images by solving the optimization problem. Second, merge linearized images into one high dynamic range image. Finally, Tom map the HDR image to display the scene in a human recognizable way. We have two types of LDR images, NEF and JPG. Each set consists of 16 images with different shutter speeds. With large shutter speed, more light photons come into camera, and then the captured image becomes brighter. In the case of raw NEF images, we use DC row function to convert them into linear 16-bit TIFF images. This is the setting for white balancing and high quality interpolation and sRGB color space. Unlike the raw images, the lander JPG images are non-linear, so we first need to perform radiometric calibration in order to undo this non-linearity. The sequence of image processing operations applied to convert a raw image into a conventional image, which contains the non-linear mapping. To undo the non-linearity, we need to estimate the response curve which was used in the image processing from the exposure stack. We can recover the discrete inverse response function G by solving the following least square optimization problem. See this objective function. The objective function consists of two terms. The left term encourages to satisfy the equation between the pixel intensity the scene radiance, and the shutter speed. The right term makes the response curve more smooth. This is the MATLAB code to solve this problem. By solving this matrix problem, we obtain the G values with the input pixel 0 to 255. Then, 8 bit LDR images can be linearized. But what does W denote in this problem? W denotes a weight of each intensity value. We will use two weighting schemes, uniform and Gaussian. In the case of Gaussian weighting scheme, we focus on the pixels that do not have extreme intensity values in the optimization process and the merge step. In this optimization problem, using the whole pixels makes the algorithm heavily costly. And actually, we only need a sufficient number of pixels to over-determine the system equation depending on the image size. In this project, I chose 300 randomly sampled pixels and lambda was set to 150. With Gaussian weighting scheme, the response curve seems more natural since it assigns low weights to over or under exposed pixels. Now we consider two sets of linear images, the raw images and the linearized rendered images. There are two merging methods and two weighting schemes, so we will see eight result. The first is linear merging, which is motivated by physical accuracy. And the second is logarithmic merging, 
which is motivated by human perception. These are the results. With JPG images and logarithmic merging, the HDR images are well constructed. The res results of linear merging seem very bad and noisy, but the evaluation result may not be bad in the perspective of physical accuracy. Then how can we evaluate HDR images in a quantitative way? One way to evaluate the results is to check its linearity by using color checker. First, convert the HDR image to the XYZ color space and extract the Y channel luminance. Second, compute the logarithm of the average luminance for each of the six neutral patches. Third, perform linear regression and compute the least square error. These are the results of linear regression. If we write the errors in the table, then we get this. It is surprising that the error of linear merging is not much terrible compared to the logarithmic merging. Considering both the qualitative result and the error, I chose to use this HDR image in the term mapping step. Before observing the results, I worried about noise in the uniform weighting scheme case, but it seems to be constructed well. To display HDR images, we need to rescale values, because we cannot precisely display bright parts yet. This process is called tone mapping. We will use two methods, photographic tone mapping and tone mapping with bilateral filtering. And we will see the results in two color spaces, RGB space and XYZ space. In the case of XYZ space, we will only tone map Y value, which means luminous. Photographic tone mapping applies the nonlinear scaling to bring all pixels within 0 to the 1 with leaving dark areas alone. We can control it by using two parameters k and b. Please see this paper for the details. However, the tone mapping may make the image blurry. Tone mapping with bilateral filtering preserves the detail and reduces the large-scale contrast. Bilateral filtering extracts the base layer, which means blurred image, so that we can gain the detailed edges in the image by subtracting it. Also, please see the paper for this detail. Parameters k, b are related to the brightness and contrast respectively. I used k with 0.6 and b with 0.95. Now we can see all objects in the scene, but somewhat blurry. With smaller k, it was hard to identify the objects in the right parts, and actually B did not significantly change the result empirically. Parameter S is the compression factor that controls the contrast, and I used S with 0.2. Compared to the previous results, the details edges were preserved better. With larger S, the entire scene became very dark and the only visible part was the light on the left part. So I think 0.2 is the best choice of S. Additionally, I performed the whole process of my own images. From four LDR images, after the process, we can identify both the penguin and the background details. But the background seems shaky since my hand was not fully fixed while capturing these photos. This is the end of my project. Thank you for listening.